I'm afraid there may be a poison coursing through the circulatory system of this house, gutting it. It is my suspicion that the foundation of this house may very well be nested among the bones of some vengefully forgotten ancestors. Or perhaps something worse. I fear it may soon be unlivable. Now if you'll forgive me for being terribly well educated, and I am, I will elucidate the history of my suspicions. You see, the first quality of conceived degradation came storming into my very nostrils like a cavalcade, like a parade of rotten chrysanthemums. Not real chrysanthemums, mind you, for we do not have a garden. And furthermore, I would never, ever let a flower rot on my watch. Never. The comforts of this life are small and brief. Happiness passes as quickly as the fade of a Chinese fire rocket, and we are left tragically with nothing but ourselves and our deeds. Desperately alone, we cling to any semblance. Oh, I'm afraid my mind has gotten away from me there. Where was I? Oh, yes. I first came upon the unmistakable vestiges of the aromatic poison when inquiring as to the emotional well-being of one of my fellow boarders within the residence. She is a woman. Claudia, darling, how are you? Now what comes next may very well rattle you straight to the bone. She responded curtly, in perhaps the most disingenuous fashion I've ever had the misfortune of being forced to endure. I'm good. And that was that. She returned to her colloquial activity. I believe she was raised in flyover country. Maybe such behavior is accepted there, but frankly, I was caught off guard and found it hard to hold my balance in the face of such a blow. They say the opposite of love is not hate. The opposite of good is not evil. And the opposite of black is not white. I retired to the kitchen quarters, desperate for an antidote, something to regain my composure, my bruised dignity. <laughs> the poison seeps in. <laughs> On the day following the tragedy, I couldn't stop myself from drafting a formal complaint. I even used my personal stationery. Though I did not sign the venomous correspondence, and she will undoubtedly know why. I slept inconceivably well that night, for it is my belief, and I think you'll agree, that justice is perhaps the most soothing and thorough nightcap. Yes. I had indeed put her in her proverbial place. I awoke the next day exuberant. The taste of my first true victory stained into my lips. I didn't know power would feel this good. The effervescence of justice followed me in my movements. I was glowing, I'm sure of it. And to top it all off, I made the best latte I've ever had. Cool. 
Dear holy God, something must be afoot. I felt it in my trusty bones. I felt it in my man parts, where my intuition lies. You know, some people speculate that perhaps intuition isn't a masculine quality. Well, anyhow, I had to be sure. Frida, dearest, the barometric pressure this morning is something to behold, is it not? I gotta split. Bye. I had never been treated so rudely in all my life. The heart of my heart, the soul of my soul was deeply damaged. The impropriety, the remorseless impropriety. were in. The writing was on the wall and the source of the poison was undeniable. These women, whom I entrusted with my company on many nights, were thoroughly and truly afraid of my masculinity. It came to me that the turbulence of our current predicament be traced back to our very first meeting, the arrangement of our living situation, in which a dear acquaintance of mine, an art collector of exotic taste, showed me a very elegant Craigslist posting. Kyle, good man, what does it say? Don't you know anybody else with a computer? Looking for a tenant. By God, Kyle. You've done it. What's your name again? Gunther. say so myself. I am a bathroom man. Spend quite a lot of time in a bathroom. Some would say I spend more time in the bathroom than I do anywhere else. Hmm. Upon our initial encounter, I became only too aware of the great lengths I'd have to go to tamp down the abundant and indeed overwhelming aspects of my masculinity. I knew immediately that they were not able to handle the full breadth of it. effort I kept my masculinity in the dark, but something must have happened. They must have been exposed to my masculinity in some unforeseeable or unavoidable way. Lord knows what it might be, 
but deep down I knew I could never muster the otherworldly strength necessary to quell the fullness of my masculinity. It was truly a fool's errand. Something had to be done. I had to confront the opposition. <clears throat> Gunther, we need to talk. I should say so. I hold my ground. The moment has come for me to make my valiant stand against the oppressive tyranny of the male-destroying feminine. For myself, and for all mankind, I will stand against passivity. I will not forfeit my decisiveness. I will brandish the sword and know it is not just for killing that this blade, the blade of masculinity, shall smite. If you could just stop jerking off in our shared spaces, that would be great. Yeah. Get off my balls, beast. The fuck are you talking about? Your balls, are you fucking kidding me? I'm not always wrong, you bitches. Okay, <laughs> you don't even, all right. You have about three seconds to turn this conversation around or I'm going to rip your balls off and shove them down your fucking throat. I'll press charges. And I'll press a soldering iron to your pee hole. I'll pee on it and put it out. It's electric, you dunce. The pee will still cool it down. You are literally the stupidest person I've ever met. Well, it sounds like you need more friends. I think I've proved my point. What is happening? I don't even know. If you could just stop humping my couch, that would be cool. Are you okay with that? And so it has come to be that I have found an absolute and harrowing truth. The mature masculine is homeless in this land. I could blame the power and prowess of my manhood. I could blame penis envy for that matter, but I won't. No, I am not so low and I am not so petty. I am a man between worlds, born not of this time. Some have deemed me an old soul. Many have spoke of my wisdom and grace. It is my plight, nay, my responsibility to refuse to tolerate such intolerances. It is my duty as a man to embrace my Zeus energy and lead the path. I am Gunther. And I'm a man, you fuckers. <laughs> <laughs>